Unvaccinated teachers will return to school classrooms from tomorrow just as the state's COVID case numbers continue to soar. The police commission has eased vaccine rules for school staff and transport workers, two sectors feeling the pinch of COVID. Sarah Mullins reports. It's back to school for the unvaccinated. Education is a universal right of every child and so we need to make sure that we maintain our staff so that every child has that opportunity to learn. About 850 public school staff are currently in isolation because of COVID. The situation so dire that some schools have closed. But from tomorrow, numbers will be bolstered by about 200 unvaccinated staff who will be able to return from enforced leave if they wear masks and rapid antigen test daily. This is not a response to challenges with respect to staffing, but absolutely we will, work, we will welcome them back. Unvaccinated staff still won't be allowed in high-risk settings like special schools and remote Aboriginal communities. Parents seemingly supportive of the change. I'm quite happy because we've all gone through the vaccination process and I think we're all ready to go back to a bit of a more normal life. If they don't want to vaccinate, I cannot force anyone. So I can advise everyone to get vaccinated so that we can travel around the world as soon as possible. Vaccine mandates for taxi and rideshare drivers, as well as those on trams, buses and trains, will also expire at midnight. But others in health and aged care remain for now. We have taken steps to get vaccination rates up as quickly as possible in critical sectors, and it was always the intention that we would transition to more appropriate mechanisms for ongoing management of these requirements. The mandate removal comes as cases continue to rise. Two deaths and five and a half thousand infections recorded today, the second highest daily total of the pandemic. Whilst the numbers are high in terms of daily numbers, um, it's not outside of what the predictions were. Those predictions show a peak of up to 8,000 daily cases by mid-April. Sarah Mullins, ABC News, Adelaide.